This is Cock Gamer 007 and we have a couple of news articles for today. Links to all news articles and timestamp is going to be in the description below. And don't forget if you like the video give it a thumbs up and let's get started. Let's move on to two Mario news that we have to go over today. The first news is that Nintendo Japanese website says Mario isn't a plumber any longer. This is Nintendo's character description for Mario that's shown on the website and translated. Quote, all around sporty, whenever it's tennis or baseball, soccer or car racing, he's Mario does everything cool. As a matter of fact, he also seemed to be work as a plumber a long time ago. Wow. <laughs> This is weird how Mario isn't a plumber anymore because I grew up saying that he's a plumber. He go to to pipes and stuff, go underground, I don't know, get those Goombas out the pipes. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Get those mushrooms off those pipes, blocking up the pipes. I don't know. That's how I grew up and it's kind of weird. But he kind of did stop being a plumber after he started saving the princess and Mario and Peach and... You know, saving Peach all the time, so... Or maybe they could make a crazy uh, story in Super Mario Odyssey. They could say that, oh, Mario retired of being a plumber after 30 years or something like that. He's like 50-something years old, you know, he's retired or something like that. So, let's jump on to the next Mario news. More kingdoms are confirmed for Super Mario Odyssey. The packaging image were revealed for the new Super Mario Odyssey Amiibos. Fans already been pouring over every tiny detail from the box art to see if anything is new. And it turns out it looks like the names of three kingdoms were revealed on the Amiibo box. The names are still a flux, but the new kingdoms are the Snow Kingdom, the Mushroom Kingdom and the Lake Kingdom. That would put Super Mario Odyssey at 10 kingdoms up to this point. There could be other areas that have yet to be named as well due to unidentifiable land mass on the map. First of all, I knew from the beginning that the Mushroom Kingdom was going to be in there in um, Super Mario Odyssey. It was po It's possible that it could have been like Mario Galaxy, how in the beginning or in the Mushroom Kingdom, in the Star Festival, I think it was a Star Festival, I think, and they were going to Peach Castle, and maybe something happened, and you have to save the princess, like all Mario games, right? So I knew the Mushroom Kingdom was gonna be in there, or maybe you have to do something in the Mushroom Kingdom and then do that. Maybe it's a tutorial level. It's possible it can't even be the end game, but I would love if I could see more worlds to be confirmed, like, what happened if you could? What, what about Isle Defino from Super Mario Sunshine? I would love that to be inside a world because Isle Defino is part of the Odyssey, right? It's part of the world. Like, it's not an alternate universe. Isle Defino deserves to be in Super Mario Odyssey. I want to see the Panta. The Pantas. Yeah, I, I can't pronounce their names, but I would love to see them as a race. They were unique for the time, and I would love to re they remaster the whole area, add new areas and all in HD, this huge area. We don't have to put those levels from Sunshine. Just the area, that town alone could make it in. I don't think I'm the only person that won't love to see Al Dafino back. So I hope this is not all the worlds in Super Mario Odyssey. Let's move on to the VG Bulletin Mini. We got five bullets. Yes, a hefty five bullets to shoot through. So let's get started with Splatoon 2 news. Splatoon 2 will be releasing an update called 1.3.3. Oh, and it will be dropping this Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's no details exactly the update contains, but it most likely should contain some balance changes to the game. Let's swim on to more Splatoon 2 news that I will not be covering because it contains spoilers and I am an active Splatoon 2 player, so I, I would love not to be spoiled on these leaks from the data miners. So there were new findings from the data miners. I heard something like that and I don't want to be spoiled. So I'm not be I'm not going to be covering it in this video. If you want to see 
and be spoiled from this leak from the data miners, it's gonna be in the description below, like always, with the timestamps. Let's move on to Fire Emblem Warrior news. Famitsu to reveal male Korin and Sakura. If you wonder what Fire Emblem games these characters came from, they're both from Fire Emblem Fates. Let's scream on to Resident Evil news. Resident Evil Revelation 1 and 2 will be launching for the Switch in Japan on November 30th of this year. The company in intended to publish both games at retail under the name Resident Evil Revelation Collection. The first game will be included in the cartridge, but if you want to play Revelations 2, it's a digital download. Currently, there is no official release date announced for North America or Europe. Well, that was everything from the VG Bulletin Mini, so let's move on to the last two pieces of news of today. The first of these news is that Fire Emblem Warriors scans were leaked from Famitsu about new features that will be in the game, such as class change skills, system, emblem chop, and the new history mode. Nintendo Everything gave a nice full roundup. Nintendo Everything gave a nice roundup of the scan shown but shown now. Every, Nintendo Everything gave a nice full roundup of the scan shown now on screen. Class change are confirmed. This can be done by using a master seal that's always in Fire Emblem. Rowan or and Lorenda, that's the new twin protagonist, can promote from Lord to Master Lord. Game will have a skill system. You can equip to three skills. Skills are unlocked by bonding with other characters. Emblem Shop system is in the game. This apparently involves using materials and permit stats groups. History mode is separate from story mode. It retells the original story of each Fire Emblem game feature. In history mode, move characters on a 2D grid like the original SRPG. When the ally is adjacent to the enemy, battle will trigger. For me to show that Valtir will appear as an enemy NPC. Scenes in history mode will also be voice. One history mode map shown in Famitsu is from Shadow Dragon. I just love how Omega Force is making their crossover games. They start adding elements from the games they cross over with and they make their own Warriors games that they create more interesting that way. Now I could finally see fans of Dynasty Warriors or Fire Emblem games will enjoy this game. I don't see no problem like unless you want the strategy part of Fire Emblem. It's in there as well. You can actually move and actually move party members. I gotta say party members to certain parts of the map with with Fire Emblem Warriors. So I could finally see that they both fans will enjoy this game. Now I believe that this is this game this warriors game is an action fire emblem game now i cannot wait for this game to release october 20th and this would be a great appetizer for super mario odyssey that's gonna release a week later all right let's move on to the last news of today secret mana remake gameplay revealed at pax west screenix had a playable demo on the show floor but also shared via a live broadcast. The remade, the game is remade with 3D visuals, remastered sound, and various additions, such as inclusion of a mini-map, and Secret Matter will arrive as a digital release on February 15, 2018. I cannot wait until Secret Matter release early next year. Secret Matter is one of the Three smaller RPGs from Square Enix that I'm interested in. That includes Secret of Mana, Lost Fear, and Project Octopath Traveler. And I never played the original Secret of Mana. I always wanted to play it. A couple of months ago, everyone was talking about the, the Secret of Mana collection coming from the Nintendo Switch. I was releasing Japan. I never released the United States or Europe. And I said, if it ever comes, I would just buy it and play it and experience it that way. And now this remake just said, well, don't buy that. Stop, stop, don't buy that. You don't need that. Those are for 
people that's desperate for RPGs on their Switch or something, right? Other than Zelda Crockett's too, but we leave that alone and get Secret of Mana on PS4. Well, Vita, no one wants a Vita. And PC, I'm gonna get on PC, personally. And I cannot wait. This is a day one purchase on February 15th on Steam. No matter what, unless a Nintendo Switch version ever comes. And if it does, well, that's bought already. So, yes, it's about time to end my video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I would love to subscribe to help expand my channel and share the video if you think it could afford someone else. Comment below. I would love your opinions of these articles. This is Talk Gamer 007, and I see you in the next one. Peace.